Hello and welcome to the first full episode of Little Acts of Decluttering. My name's Rachel Noakes and I'm here to talk to you about decluttering and minimalism and I'm going to do that through Reddit stories and interviews and discussions. So let's get started. Today we're going to do some reading of some Reddit stories related to decluttering and minimalism. Am I the arsehole for being a minimalist and getting rid of old stuff my parents bought for me? Long story short, my dad got a little frustrated with me over the phone when he heard that I got rid of all my baseball gear. He's like, I paid thousands on equipment for you growing up. I'm in my mid-twenties and I've been getting into minimalism the last few years and I like to declutter and get rid of stuff I'm not using, don't need sitting around, collecting dust. I'll admit the vast majority of the stuff I got rid of, my parents bought me, but they literally bought some of this stuff 10 years ago and probably don't care about it since they gave it to me a long time ago and I brought most of it with me when I moved into my apartment. I personally think he's overreacting about the equipment because I live 10 hours away from him. It's not like he's going to use it. The equipment was old, dirty, battered. It heavily depreciated and I had no sentimental feelings towards it. Maybe it's worth a few bucks at a garage sale, which he always talks about having but never goes through with. The equipment got the job done, the baseball career is over and I'm never going to play again, so I got rid of it. Simple as that. Here's some other things I've gotten rid of that mildly irritated my parents and gave them a questioning attitude. A nightstand, the majority of my shoes, old plastic Tupperware, blender, toaster oven, popcorn maker, a bar stool, a gigantic rolling suitcase, some big ugly plastic containers in my closet, a 10-year-old laptop that was having major issues, my PS3, my very old TV, a ton of clothes and a few other things. Sold the tech on Craigslist, the other stuff I donated to Goodwill or trashed. I feel like these items were mine because I used them 100% of the time. I feel like they are overreacting when they find out I donate or toss some of the old stuff that they bought. I'm an adult. If you buy me something, I should be able to do whatever I want with it once it's in my possession, right? Am I the asshole for being a minimalist and getting rid of old stuff my parents bought me? My initial thought here is that they are not the asshole. If your items are bought for you, they should belong to you and you should be free to do what you like with them. I do understand the amount of money that parents spend on equipment for different activities as a child, but you're a child, you can't pay for them yourself, so that should be an accepted thing as a parent. But I guess the only thing that you could have done differently would have been asking if they wanted any of it back before you got rid of it. But I would only say that's relevant to certain things that they brought that were potentially expensive or just say that you're thankful for the things that they've given you and they should be accepting of that that you have shown gratitude for the amount of money that they spent on these things but they don't represent that value now and if you haven't got any sentimental value yourself for them I don't see why you should need to keep them. A lot of the top comments are in agreement they say that you're not the asshole. it's your stuff essentially do what you want with it but I understand why your dad was upset. People are sentimental. Tell him you really appreciated it as a kid and you are grateful. And I think finding ways to donate things so that they are more meaningfully donated, such as sending them to like a youth centre or to a sports club so that they can benefit out of it. It's like you're paying it forward. Another comment said, Worship at the altar of our goddess Marie Kondo. Um, Dad looks at items as keepsakes that represent value, sentimental memories. It's a conflict of styles. Maybe in the future you could spare him the details of your cleaning or donating the items to a youth group who would use it. Your dad might be tickled if you made one of those photo collages or photos of you growing up and presented it to him as a physical reminder of the experience. I quite like that one, creating something out of the upset Another one is, no you're not, if you're actually not using the stuff, get rid of it. You shouldn't have to clutter up your house with junk because it hurts other people's feelings. A little surprise that some of the stuff you said you got rid of, but hey, I don't know your life. So generally, not the asshole, and I would agree. Am I the asshole for throwing away gifts given by my mother-in-law after husband gave ultimatum on decluttering? 
For context, dear husband and I have a long-standing issue with our definition of clutter or mess. To him, everything is clutter or unnecessary. I don't count myself as a hoarder, but agree that maybe the kids have too many toys and I too many scarves. But hear me out for the petty details. I'm sure I will sound silly, but here it comes. The other day, a friend was visiting and the chat veered towards a website that has really cool gadgets. My husband then makes a sneering comment that in 2023, his aim is to have less shit in the house, not more. And went on to point out a few objects around the living room and name them that I keep, like a plant that I purchased as the first living thing when we bought our house 10 years ago, a decorative item and a candle lantern. Maybe I was hormonal, maybe I was having a bad day, or maybe it was the culmination of many years of fighting over clutter. But the comment, especially out of the blue with a visitor over, made me really angry. So later that day, in a very clear example of cutting off my nose to spite my face, I went to throw away the particular items he described as clutter. So now our four metre long media unit contains only a TV and Alexa, and I miss my plant. And then I thought, if we are decluttering, why stop there? So over the course of a few days, I went around the house throwing things away that he had previously complained about or questioned the existence of. Eventually, I landed on things that didn't seem to bother him, like old electronic photo display, gift from his mum that we never set up, a bin, large framed painting, also a gift from her, but he never put it back on the wall after we removed it for house renovations, so was sitting against the wall behind an armchair for about nine months. I wasn't allowed to do it alone due to its weight, but every time I mentioned over the months, he would say, I will do it later. Clutter, right? Bin. Needless to say, he was not happy. How dare I throw away a gift from his mum? Mind you, I threw other things that weren't given by a mum, a friend and family member. And I rebuffed him, adding that my definition of clutter was, if it has no purpose, not being used, not intended to be used, and not bringing joy, it is clutter. Clearly his definition of clutter is things that don't belong to him, that he didn't pick or that he didn't care about. So now we have a huge fight and yet I'm continuing my decluttering crusade every day throwing away items or giving them to charity. He thinks I've gone mad. Then I ask, am I the arsehole for throwing away his mum's gifts without asking? Interesting. This one definitely made me laugh the first time I heard it. I think that (laughs) <laughs> it's something that I probably would have done um, and probably have done in the past just to kind of make a point but I think she's right he's only saying it's clutter if it's not his or that he didn't pick it that he doesn't care about I get that <laughs> there's quite a few consistent comments here on this one uh, <laughs> absolutely to clutter all his stuff to the curb Yes, easy and simple divorce is the answer. Don't bother trying to compromise or resolve problems or anything like that. Just throw away your marriage like it's worthless. (laughs) There's a bit of a debate going on on that one. There's quite a few (laughs) that just say to get rid of him and get another plant. Get another plant and you'll be happier. Okay, so um, OP has responded to some of the kind of queries on here on some questions of why we are even together couples have long-standing arguments for all sorts of reasons the kids the wider family the holidays the tidying the life management the clutter the list goes on just because you have something you disagree on doesn't mean you don't love each other or need to get a divorce in my opinion others may disagree on being maliciously compliant point taken to an extent he nags about clutter while always expecting me to be the one to act on it Seems like he truly thinks he is not a contributor to cluttering. So if I'm solely responsible for decluttering, then it comes with consequences. The clutter I'm throwing away is on a shared spaces. I would never go into a personal drawer of his and throw away personal items. He wants a media unit without a pot plant I got when we bought the house. Fine. The display above the media unit will also not have a decorative beer mug we bought at Oktoberfest. And there's been a response to that. After a week or two more of this, you have to be serious and sit down with him and say, I hope I've made my point about decluttering. For years you've been treating my stuff as disposable and the kids' stuff as unnecessary, but you don't seem to want to part of any of your stuff, even if it's decorative, not being used or on the floor. I hope you can see that it's frightening to lose your stuff, that you have been very disrespectful 
of me all these years. When you say stuff is unnecessary but yours is not, you are sending the message that I am unimportant and unwelcome. You're also making a false claim that I am responsible for all of the mess here. I'm going to need an apology from you and I need us to have an approach to tidiness that is collective and that respects both of us. I think that's a really good final kind of response. You kind of need to work together, especially if you're in a partnership. It's different for me. I'm on my own, so I don't have to consult anybody, but all the stuff is mine. So when you're working in a partnership, you need to discuss that together and find your solution together. I think the general consensus was not the asshole. What do you think? A few people have said that he is being particularly unkind. I think the comment in front of visitors is where it draws the line for me. That's pushing it and that's not being kind and I would not be happy if I was embarrassed like that. I think that is quite uncomfortable. If I was the friend, I would have been uncomfortable hearing that about my friend. So that one draws the line for me and I'd be questioning that behaviour more so. But yeah, I'm definitely somebody that would make a point if somebody said that. And I definitely have done that in the past. So there are two Reddit episodes for today's video. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree or you have a different point that we haven't covered. And I shall be back with some more Reddit stories about decluttering and minimalism. I have found some goodies.